And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. like a little bitch, man. <laughs> Look like you was gonna shit on yourself, bro. Man, fuck you. Falling up on me like that, man. What the hell you want? Went to see your boy Philgy at Joliet. Stupid ass got 10 years. Anyway, he said you the man to shit. Man, unless you want to toll, don't talk to me about nothing. I'm out the game. Maybe I want out the game, too. <laughs> what, am I on Hustler Say to Dawn this things? Man, get out of my face. Yo, I'm serious. The way you turned that little rinky-dink grocery store around, that was hot. I can't believe that little man burned your shit down like that. It's no biggie. He got locked up and my family got the insurance money. Guess you got a point. Show me. You gonna help me set up a business, dog? I won't go legit. <laughs> Since when? Since two of my top runners got jacked, another one blown away, thought he got busted. I've been doing this since I was 12. That's 15 years in the game. I won out before my luck's over. The same thing I went through. My wife and kid changed everything. <laughs> I don't know all about all that love and shit, but I don't want to die on the street. Man, I feel you. But there's a big difference between running a grocery store and investing somebody's money. Your money come up dirty, I go down. <laughs> well, if the cash is clean. <laughs> And what if I was seven feet tall? Shit, I could play for the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> so you down or what? Yo, I gotta go to work, man. Stay up. Yo, I'm a holler back with the clean Benjamins. So I guess being top dog at Burke Willis frees you up for a little more time at the driving range. Very funny. Actually, I've been taking lessons, and not because I have more time. <whistles> but because I'm tired of you kicking my butt. <laughs> so tell me, Mr. Tedro, am I any closer to convincing you to stay with me at Burke Willis? You know, you really know how to ruin a guy's golf game. I haven't had time to put together a formal offer yet, but... Ooh, nice. But if you'd give it a little thought, let me know what would make you happy. Or at least what would make you consider staying. You don't think about it. Thanks. You wouldn't believe the kind of pressure I'm under to get deals in my department now. You know, one of these days I'm gonna be able to resist your charms. Then where will you be? Uh, I don't plan to ever find out. <laughs> well, I hope we're not spoiling a moment. Uh, no, we're just 
back enough. Good, good. Brian Tedro, Bob Jameson, Hargrave International Bank. Brian is the head uh, ex head of labor, but he's still with the department. And uh, Terry Joseph is the new head of labor and employment. Heard a lot about you, Bob. As I have you. And you. You know, in fact, your name came up in recent conversations about an opening we have. Whoa, whoa, Bob. Surely you're not courting my top attorney right in front of me. Sure. Thank you. Hey, you know, maybe I should drop by your office sometime and show you what a real driver looks like. I'd look forward to it. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa. When I told Professor Stevens that this week I wanted to shoot my film study documentary on the hair show my Aunt Bird was in, he said that it should reflect a part of life people don't see every day. Now, I'm not quite sure what side of life it is I'm reflecting, but I'm sure it's not the everyday one. Thank you. You don't have to gossip all day long. Oh, why bother wearing headphones if everyone else has to hear your music? What the hell is her problem? Good question. Answer? Stressed. Why you ask? Let me back up and show you. All right, come on, baby. Let's get this done. I gotta make moves. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, I'm Tracy Bird Van Adams and I've decided to enter my first hairstyling competition. And just in case I wasn't nervous enough, my nephew Ahmad is following me around everywhere this week. And right now it's time for him to yell cut because I have a 10 o'clock coming in any minute. All right, baby? All right, but, um, last question. Why are you entering the Chicago Hair Show? Uh, my sister, Terry. I'm always telling Bird to celebrate her talent, stop being so modest. She still didn't enter the contest until I picked up the application for her. <laughs> you know, when I think about it, she and Maxine are a lot alike. They never give themselves enough credit for how amazing they are. What do you think? Is Ontario right? Uh, I, I think it's time for you to yell cut so I can get to my next appointment. Hey, that's not the right one. What are you doing? What do you think about this Baron Marks cat? He well, seems to be doing good things in the community. Yeah, I wonder how much more he could be doing if his suits didn't cost three thousand pop. <sighs> what you into over there? And the, the city contract. I'm I'm trying to figure out how I can renegotiate and get more money if I pick up a bigger district. That's exactly what they're talking about in today's paper. Is that right? See that thing. Right, peep this. You, you got to restructure the terms to be contingent on the satisfaction and safety review of the contract you have now. Uh huh. Apparently, they favor minority business owners with high satisfactory marks and uh, strong safety reviews. Exactly. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, well, good looking out. <laughs> the hell. You know, you keep this up a few more months, and I might just have to give you a a ten percent raise. Maybe a year, year and a half from now, assistant manager. Yeah, well, I don't know what to say. Yeah, nothing to say. Just thought I'd let you know I see us working together forever. Forever. Oh yeah. <laughs> I. Cooking? It's great publicity. You've been playing well, no injuries. Now's the perfect time to get your name back out there. Sounds to me like you're trying to get my name out there as some kind of queer. <sighs> yeah, I suppose you want me to wear an apron and everything? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Hey. Sorry, babysitter hey. was late. No problem. Maxine, you look great. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. How's Samantha and the baby? Couldn't be better. I mean, Brittany, she's even more beautiful than her mom. I mean, if that's possible, uh -oh. I don't know. See, now all the good ones are taken. Yeah. Samantha is a lucky woman. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, break it up, please. You both are taken, if I may remind you. 
The cooking channel has approached us about a show they're doing. Mm -hmm. Real jocks, real cooks, real kitchens. Athletes from different sports in the kitchen with real people. So I thought it might be cool to get you guys together. Wow, thanks, David. It's gonna be about a 10 minute spot with the two of you preparing a dish. The producers are really excited about doing it. And, uh, oh, Terry said we can have a kitchen. Hey, how about I open for her? And then she does a rest. This is not a concert, Kevin. It's important to your career, so please, can we... Okay, look, I just told you, I'm not the cooking type, all right? But I am, so you're in luck. See there? She's on board. Quit whining. Okay, all right, I'm in. Yay, great, Go. great. Let me give you my address. really thinking about reconsidering Rome's offer. Why? Life going too good? You haven't been arrested in a while. You looking forward to being locked up? You can hold up on all the sarcasm. I'm talking about helping them go legit. With dirty money? Something's got to change, Bert, if I'm going to get ahead. Baby, what are you talking about? We are getting ahead. No, you're getting ahead. I mean, I was shocked, but... Proud. When I heard you were entering this hair contest, it's about time that everybody know how good you are. Huh. Well, now you sound like Terry. And we will talk about that later. Well, right now, we're talking about you. And you, Lamb Van Adams, are bringing home a steady paycheck. You should be proud of that. Well, steady ain't good enough. Now, don't get me wrong. I appreciate everything that Kenny's done for me. It's just that... It's just what, babe? When I was listening to Kenny paint a picture that was supposed to be my future, I knew that no matter how hard I worked at Chadway Towing, it was always going to be Chadway Towing. And I mean, that's how it's supposed to be, but if my dreams are going to be anything other than shit that happens while I sleep, then I got to be the one to make that happen. Listen. I understand that. But I want you to understand that I am so proud of everything you're doing with your life. When I mean, the girls at the shop are so tired of hearing me talk about what a good man I am. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Mm -hmm. I tried to talk about you the other day for a mom's documentary. He was like, <laughs> Bird, this is not a piece about your happy marriage. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> well, I want you to continue bragging about your good man. Yeah, my man. So, I'm gonna make you a promise. Okay. I ain't getting involved unless it's on the up and up. Okay. You keep that promise, I'm cool. You know, I really believe Rome wants to get off the streets. And if he does, and he deserves the same chance that your family gave me. I'm still trying to figure out why we did that. Oh. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe this is why. <laughs> Could you please stop working for just one minute? I'm busy, Ahmad. Besides, aren't you supposed to capture me being me? Well, yeah, but... Well, this is me, a tired mother of three who agreed to help Damon do something she really doesn't have time for. Okay, look, quickly. Um, What do you think of Ossie Burr entering this contest? <sighs> I'm really proud of her. I was shocked when Terry told me she talked her into it. I mean, Burke can be so hush-hush about our accomplishments. When I think about it, both of my sisters are just alike. Neither of them likes talking about how truly gifted they are. Um, one more question. When's Dad coming home? Ask your father. Kevin? 
Hey, Maxine. Hey. Hey, listen.